I guess I'm a raider now. Part of the slaver class. Ugh. Hi. The more we work, the less attention the bosses pay to what Marco is up to. Okay. Hi. I'd rather be out in the yard breaking steel. Seriously? I just want to break. I know. Oh, hi. Guess you're one of us now. Good luck. Uh huh. Thanks. It won't be long now. Hey, Marco. Good luck up there with the bosses. I know you won't let us down. Thank you for having faith in me. Go on in if you're going. Not right now. Hey, Everett. Woo! Saw you fighting in the hole. What a piece of work. Now I know why you ain't afraid of those drugs. No hard feelings, huh? Uh, no hard feelings, but I'm not taking any more of your shit. Understood, champ. But if you want to keep collecting ingots, I still got plenty of gear stashed away. You bring me ingots, I'll make sure you get rewarded. Can't be more fair than that. Uh-huh. Bye. Keep bringing in metal. I'll keep getting your gear. For all residents of the pit, mill, mill production means I need all the steel ingots you can find from the steel yard or supply plant. Anyone who brings in 10 ingots gets paid. See Everett in the steel mill. And soldiers, I don't care if you think you're too good to scrounge for the mill. It's a waste sending workers out there to die. All it does is feed the... Trogs, Mill Foreman Everett. You know, I'm surprised he actually realized that sending workers out there is the wrong thing to do. Honestly, if it wasn't for him giving me all those weapons, I might not have made it. Everett, you deserve to die here the least. You still deserve to die, but the least. Keep it quick. The bosses are watching. Just shut up and listen to me. You want to get out of this shithole or not? Look, I need your decision. You with us? Not going to happen. You're in over your head. I want no part of whatever craziness you guys are cooking up, okay? Man, what is wrong with you? There's a window opening and we've got to jump through while we still can. I'm disappointed. Hey, I'm sorry that didn't work out. Keep trying, okay? I'd rather be out in the yard breaking steel. Trust me, you don't. Hey there. It's a shame that violence is the only thing that could solve it. I mean, yeah, it's a shame, but at least you acknowledge that violence is the only thing that could solve this. But that's only the case because it was violence that created this situation. What's up? Guess you earned your ticket out of downtown. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. Go away, they'll see us. Yeah, yeah, right, okay. Ugh. I 
I guess you don't need this slop if you're headed upstairs. Oh. What's up? Ugh, all right. Got to go uptown. Here we are. Hi. Trouble man. You don't want to know how I got the name. Okay then. It's true. I'm nothing but trouble, man. If you say so. Oh, hey, there's a working terminal in here. Dr. Borman's office log. JournalSoft version 2.3, logged in as Nurse Hicks. Personal log 48. Dr. Borman asked me to look into new office space. Being this close to the mills is terrible for the patients, but he says that we can afford a new office now. Ever since the Canadian Annex, we've had a lot of vets in the office, so the numbers are looking way up. War might be hell, but it's good for some of us. That's called war profiteering. Uh, capitalism. Patient log 147. Patient R. Jenkins. Symptoms. Patient presents runny nose, fever, swollen feet, bad breath, headache, jaundice, and extreme perspiration. Honestly, I have no clue what's wrong with him, but performing tests seems to make his symptoms lessen. Maybe he had mental health issues. Patient log 148. Patient M. Kramer. Symptoms. Patient complaining of myalgia as well as swollen and enlarged lymph nodes. In addition, patient reports a feeling of unease. Suspected asymptomatic herpetic infection. Performed AR series of tests and exams. Samples sent to UMS for analysis. Alright then. Hello. Asher's looking forward to meeting you, champ. Ugh, is he? Well now, a grinder made it out of the hole. That hasn't happened in a while. Well, I hope you have some money, newbie. Um, I actually just got it back, so yeah, what you got? Sure thing, newbie. Oh, wow, alright, you've got some good stuff. Here, I'll take this and trade you this. Could you repair some of my equipment? Sure thing, newbie. Eh, hey, your repair skills are great, but okay. Alright. Bye. Try spending some more money next time. Mm-hmm. Uh, hi. Scram. Fine. So weird being up here now. Hi. Bingo? Is that your name? Bingo? Are you saying incorrect? Bingo. Okay, well, can we talk? Bingo! I mean about something that's not your name. Bingo! This sentence is false. Bingo? Okay, goodbye. Bingo! Now. 
not interested. Okay, fine. Hi. Jackson, ma'am. Don't forget it. You ever notice that Medea is kind of hot? Uh, coming from you, that is very creepy. Bone ain't too bad either. Hey, <laughs> bone. Oh, I met her. Safe is just open, huh? And they got the electricity running around here. They must have activated these old terminals. Pittsburgh Department of Public Works, Interoffice Mail Terminal, logged in as Director Hadley James. Subject, New Smithfield Street Bridge. Director James, I am once again writing to encourage you to resign your position following the disastrous reconstruction of the Wabash Bridge. While I understand that it was your desire to unify the city's skyline, we at the Pittsburgh Heritage Society feel that replacing the historical Wabash Bridge with a simple copy of the 10th Street structure was laziness bordering on criminal negligence on the part of the Department of Public Works. As the director of the department, the society holds you responsible. I will be addressing this matter at the next meeting of the County Administrators, Emily Weiss, Pittsburgh Heritage Society. Huh, so they tore down a historical bridge and built a new one. Hmm. But why would they do that? Was there some type of scandal? Some type of fraud going on? I have no clue. Subject, new seating assignments. Hadley, come on! You put me next to Jenkins? Seriously, I can't stand that guy. He smells like moldy feet and he chews his gum so loud I can't concentrate. I've been here four months longer than Bill. You should switch our desk and make him be near Jenkins, Tom. Ah, uh, pre-war inter-office drama. Subject, do you hear that? I was in your office the other day, Hadley, and I couldn't help noticing that there's some sort of sound coming from the wall. I think you might have mice. You should get maintenance to check that out. Huh, that's weird. Subject, phone messages. Mr. James, your wife called. She wants you to pick up milk in a case of cram on the way home. Also, Miss Stevens called and thanked you for lunch and wanted to confirm for the same time next Tuesday. <sighs> of course he was cheating on his wife. Wait a minute, behind the wall? Wait, this is a secret room where he was cheating on his wife. There weren't mice. It was just people having sex. <laughs> Hello? Well, look at this. One of the scabs earned his wings. Welcome to the grill. Whatever you need, we got. Assuming that what you need is to get shit-faced drunk. Ha! Alright, what do you have? Oh, good. And here I thought you were planning to stay sober. Okay, you got some good stuff. Thanks. Bye. Come back anytime. You know, it's not lost on me that the slave society is the one that has pretty good merchants. What the fuck are you smiling about? Uh, happy to be alive, I guess? 
Get out of my face. All right, all right. Oh great, bodies and beer. That's the first thing I want to see. I guess this is uptown. Oh my god, that is so disgusting. I'd say it was actually a pretty creative art project if it wasn't made out of human corpses. Oh, a gnome. Uh, I think it's safe to say when the slaves are no longer useful, they either torture them or at least make use of their bodies and play around with them before discarding them. Great. Oh, I can get to the ground from here. Oh, another entrance to the mill. All right, yep, this leads to the back area where only they were allowed. Hey, get out of my face. Okay. Interesting fan. A uh, hi. Well, look at you. Guess you're on a permanent break. Uh-huh. Just go easy on us. Remember where you came from. Yeah, of course. Wait a minute, since when are slaves allowed up here? Do, do they sleep with you? Ugh. If we rest too long, there'll be hell to pay. Maybe this is just a break room. Break room that they never showed me. Huh, I wonder what's over that way. I'll uh, better check this place out. Hi! Could be worse, pal. Hello? You got something to say, or you just here to stare at the freak? Huh, so I guess even if it's less common, even the slavers get the infection to some extent, is that what happened to you? Go take a swim in the river. You'll find out for yourself, asshole. Right, so don't drink the water. Got it. Not interested. Hello? Hmm. Guess we've got another soldier. Don't think you're so special, kid. You're not the first to climb your way out of the mud. Yeah, I know, but how many other soldiers came from the hole? You'd be surprised how many of us worked our way up, even if we don't like to admit it. The rest are just toughs from the wasteland who decided to join the biggest gang around. Either way, watch your back around here. Nobody got to Uptown by playing nice. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, hi. Hey, if it isn't the newest addition to our little family. You hit the jackpot now, whiz kid. You're in Asher's army. Now's when the hard work really starts. 
You really think you work harder than the slaves downtown? Fuck yes we do. Those lazy workers get food and board, and all they have to do is work the mail and complain. But we're the ones who go out on raids to get that food. And we're the ones getting shot at for their lazy asses. So don't you get all weepy for those scabs downtown. They don't know how easy they got it. But I do what I can to keep us all standing upright. If you need to drop some rats, I'm here to help. Being robbed of autonomy doesn't mean your life is any easier. In fact, it could be much worse. Anyway, I'm fine. Okay. Watch yourself out there. Mm-hmm. Hi. How's looking good, newbie. Oh, thanks. Hi. Oh, look! Another worker who thinks they can address their betters. I'm sure everyone's impressed that you killed a pig in the hole. But don't think that makes you an equal. I assure you, I'm more than your equal. Much more. I'm sure you think so. The delusion of equality is part of what makes your kind so pitiful. <sighs> Go die What's in up? the hole. What a bitch. Hi. You want something, Scab? Hey, if it ain't the champion of the hole. That was a hell of a show you put on down there. Good thing, too. Otherwise, I was going to start shooting down there myself just to keep things interesting. Good thing you didn't. I would have shot back. I should hope so. That's what I did when I was fighting down there. And it really gets the crowd going when they see you've got some fight in you. Oh, wait, so you were one of the slaves? Hey, champ! Hmm, that's interesting. Hi. Well, if it isn't Ash's newest pet, he doesn't let many mongrels into his mansion. Him and his keen eyes must see something special in you, so Lulu's going to keep her eyes on you, too. What do you mean about Asher's keen eyes? The Lord of the Pit knows all, and his eyes see promise where others see rubble. What does he see in you? A cure? A scourge? Or maybe nothing more than a plaything? Soon, Lulu will see what lies inside you. But first, perhaps Asher's pet needs to be fed. Well, I'd say if you want to see inside me, you'd have to buy me dinner first, but uh, sure, I'll take it for free. Then here, delicious food for you. Eat and be good. Thank you. Hmm, seems they don't have to eat slop. Well, aren't you a tough one? Hello. How's it going? We don't need another dirty worker up here. Just because Asher lets you in doesn't mean we have to like it. Watch your stepping up down. Or you might just take a tumble. Yeah, that seems like a real risk considering there are so few safety rails. Oh, you're definitely looking at a lot of risk up here. Watch out, or you'll get fed to the trucks. They just love eating trash. Mm-hmm. Oh my fucking god, that's Asher's place. The one skyscraper that still looks like it's in one piece. Well, maybe that one's okay.
Yeah, if it ain't the smartest asshole in the pit. I am the smartest asshole. Wait a minute. Hi. Saw you earn your ticket uptown. Don't start thinking that makes you special. You're still just meat. You just got moved up to a higher grade of sausage, is all. Um, I'm more than just meat. You wait and see. Not hardly. Deep down, we're all meat. And even the best of us is just gonna be trog chow someday. No shame in it. Just the way life goes. It's all meat, baby. That guy creeps me out. Some kind of effigy? Wait, is that blood inside it? Yep. I've heard about statues being made with blood, but... <laughs> Hello? Lord Asher wants a word with you. Good luck. All right. Can I do something for you, Professor? You know what? I'm going to go talk to the people that work for him and see if I can gain any insight before I talk to him. I know I've talked to most of the raiders at this point, but I'm sure there's a few I missed. Hey. Scram. That's all you have to say to me? Get out of my face. Fine. I will. You on food run duty? <sighs> I'm gonna go talk to Solo. I guess he's the only one that's left. Maybe now that I've proven myself, he'll talk to me. Huh, there's nothing up here. Hey. Remember me? I knew you was for real, but I wasn't sure you had the stones to back it up. And damned if you don't. What can I do for you? You know what? Now that I'm a slaver, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But uh, before I decide anything, I need some naked photos. And your colleagues don't seem as into that as you are. Why don't you help me convince them to pose? Piece of cake. Whatever you pay them, I'll take the same. Now let's say you was to go home and welch on our deal. 
Use the pictures, but not my articles. I do business in the capital area from time to time. I might look you up and see what the problem is. Oh, so you insist on writing the articles? Fine. Um, you want to help me recruit a model? All right. Who's it going to be? Bone. You don't need my help with that one. I don't know how she ain't still a scab with that submissive streak. She'll spread her legs for a champion. Just take some pictures while you're at it. Okay. Well, if it ain't the hotshot publisher, what can I do for you? Tell me about the others, though. Success helps you make progress. Failure helps you get smarter. Quitting just pisses me off. Finish what you're working on before you ask again. You're seriously going to make me do them one at a time? Fuck you, man. You know what? He can't make sure I have to use his articles if he's dead. If I kill everyone before I leave here, then who cares if I write scathing articles and just make the world a little more sex positive and have a little less slavery? Hey, Bone. Man, you killed the fuck out of Gruber! Yes, I did. And it would very much please the champion if you got naked right now. Yeah? I was thinking we could both do it. Just you. And make it sexy. You sure about that? Oh, well... Appropriately sexy. Guess you're one of us now. Good luck. Yep, you too. Wow, she really is a sub. Your vault is in the air, my friend. It's gonna happen with or without you, but I'd like it to happen with you. What do you say? Oh, I'm in. Just promise me one thing. When this shit goes down, you put a weapon in my hand and give me my due. Perfect. Just hang tight a little while longer while everything comes together. We'll probably have a meeting soon. I'll let you know. Okay. It's getting going. Maybe my pornography can buy them time to get them ready. Okay, there's Bone done. Can we do another one, please? Well, if it ain't the hotshot publisher, what can I do for you? Give me advice for one of the other models. Alright, who's it gonna be? Friday. If it ain't a challenge, it ain't worth my time. Just meet a price and don't act like a whimpering scab. She'll do a deal. Okay. Hey, Friday. Had any good fights lately? Nope. If you have money, great. If not, get the fuck out of my place. Solo says you deal more than hardware. I want you to post for my magazine. I'll do anything at this point. If you have some cash, that is. All right. Loose armor and there's 50 caps in it for you. Well, all right. That's what I like to hear. What is it, newbie? All right, good job. Bye. Yeah, whatever, newbie. All 
All right, Friday's done. Well, if it ain't the hotshot publisher, what can I do for you? All right, let's recruit another one. All right, who's it gonna be? Lulu. That bitch is batshit insane. This ought to be good. Gonna turn your back on us and join Asher, is that right? What? No! Hurry over to Haven, kid. Check it out, Lulu. The pet knows a trick. Wanna see? Lulu loves good pets. Camera. Get your camera. Who's a good pet? Get your camera. You know how important positive reinforcement is for a pet. Why don't you pose a little? Naked works best. Aw, oh, such a sweet pet. Are you a hungry pet? No, not at the moment, but maybe a little thirsty. Bye! Then go and be good. Remember, Lulu has got her eye on you. Thank you. Keep quiet until I'm done to- Well, if it ain't the hotshot publisher, what can I do for you? Thanks for helping me with her. She's, uh, definitely dumb. Let's do another one. All right. Who's it gonna be? Spook. I know my way around that twisted little head. Take the Payne Parkway, stay in the beer lane, and get off at the Golden Triangle. But you're an explorer, ain't you? I think you could make that trip on your own. Just say hi to Teddy for me. Teddy? Um, if you think so, I'll give it a shot. There you go. Let me know how it works out. Hey, Spook. You'd best not be wasting my time. Oh, I'm not. Um, I'll pay you 50 caps if you post from my magazine. You can buy a case of beer. Okay, amiga. All right, thanks. Oh, you're back here. Hey, Solo. Well, if it ain't the hotshot publisher, what can I do for you? All right, let's get another model. All right, who's it gonna be? Squill. Miss Survival of the Fittest? Yeah, I know what makes her tick. But you sure you don't want to ask her yourself? Save me some time and you some caps. Hell, after what you did to Gruba, she might respect you more than she respects me. Eh, I wasn't too thrilled about asking Spook to do it. How about you help me out? It's your money. Let's go. Hey, Squill, I could use a hand with another negotiation. You don't even have to whack nobody this time. Are you kidding me? I mean, those fuckers make for some good target practice. <laughs> yeah, but these ain't holdouts. I need to show them this ain't a dead end. Talent and hard work can make it to the top. I tell you, everything's great, but most die. The lazy, the stupid, the weak, sure. But you're the poster girl for upward social mobility. And I mean poster girl, literally. Not exactly exciting, but beats sitting around with our thumbs up our asses, right? Wow, nice moves. Get 
get out of my face. Yeah, yeah, all right. Thanks. Solo. Well, if it ain't the hotshot publisher, what can I do for you? Next model? All right. Who's it going to be? Vickia. Now that's a challenge. Let me do the talking and have your camera ready. All right. Don't you have something better to do? What's up, bitch? Yeah, if it ain't the smartest asshole in the pit, how's it going? I need your help with a little public relations project. Something to grease the skids in new territory. You want something? Hurry up! It's a magazine. We show them who they're dealing with. Instant respect from those worth joining us, instant terror from the rest. Who's this asshole? The newbie's my cameraman, so you want to do this? You want to get, keep getting scrawny scouts from Paradise Falls in the last two week? I guess it's the price I pay for perfection. You ain't so good, are you? Wow, I didn't realize how muscular you were. Get out of my face! Yeah, yeah, alright, thanks. Hey, Solo. Keep quiet until I'm done. Done yet? Well, you ain't, ain't so the good, are you? Person. Well, if it ain't the hotshot publisher, what can I do for you? Well, let's get some more models. Alright, who's it gonna be? Well, there's Mona, there's Freya, I'm sure there's plenty others. Suit yourself. If I ain't here, come back in a day or two. I mostly got local shit on my schedule. No long trips coming up. Wait, so you just won't do anyone that has the infection? Come on, that's great public outcry, you know? Showing them what it's like here. Can I Fuck do you, something man. for you, Professor? Sick people can still be sexy.